busy today blowing out my bee yards. We have at least two feet of snow here in my uh, spring holding yards. So I'm uh, giving the snowblower quite the workout. It's going to take a little bit longer than anticipated, but it's nice having this snowblower so I can, uh, so I'm not making piles of snow everywhere. I can throw this like 50 or 100 feet away. Snow is starting to rot a little bit, so it's not blowing as easy as when it's colder. But it's doing a pretty nice job. So I'm going to blow out this whole yard. It's a nice calm spot. It's one of the last few remaining uh, old farm yards in the area that I kind of take advantage of. So I'll use it while I still have it here. So this is what's going to occupy me for the next couple days and this looks like uh, I'm going to get bees out possibly, you know, could be even Tuesday night looking Wednesday night, Thursday night for sure. I want to just kind of poke these bees out. I'm not in any big hurry or rush, but I want to get them out and get the year started, get them flying, take advantage of the weather when it's here. The nighttime lows, uh, it's, it's not bad at all. We're looking at minus twos, minus fives, as far as, as I can see. And daytime highs, between the sixes, tens, all the way, there's a few for there's a forecast showing plus 15. So we're going to take this and use it. So I'm just going to get a reading off my hives. So what these are, uh, these sensors inside these colonies, um, they're Bluetooth. So then when I download my app um, onto my phone, so then I pick this one and I go sync and I go search for the data. So now it's connecting the brood minder, connecting, now retrieving data. Seven samples, 66 completed. Okay, so then it uploads the data that I've missed since I've been here. So as you can see, the humidity has been kind of hovering around that 60, 65, 62% and my temperature is roughly around that 26 degrees celsius that's cool so I'll go back to my temperature and i'll sync that so now it's connecting ouch bloody hives there's white light the bees sure, sure get stirred up uh, so now it's connecting, it's retrieving the data on seven samples like the other one and it just updated the temperatures. So that is really neat. So I'm going to be tracking the data. Ah! Bloody bees. They certainly don't like this white light. The shed is not really stirred up. The hives are there. It's just the white light on the camera is attracting the bees to the entrance and then to the camera and then into my face. At any rate, so I'm, I'm going to be tracking the data in the shed. It's going to be interesting to follow it from in the shed to outside just to see what happens. Really neat.